Okay. Hello, dear friends. It's been uh, not really a long time not seeing you, but uh, for a couple of days. We haven't seen each other, so I will do a makeup video just to have a, a little chat with you. Nothing serious. Nothing too much fun, just daily life. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And I am very grateful that being a teacher, you have the chance to take vacation. And just so good, so good. In such a beautiful day, I do not need to go to work. I can enjoy and, uh, well, go to work is nothing wrong, but uh, just go away from any pressure, from any frustration, from any responsibility and be yourself, relax and rejuvenating yourself, reinvent yourself. I think it's very, very important and um, <clears throat> not only not only teachers, I know some people will say teachers' job are very challenging. Every job is challenging. And uh, we just a teacher, we are very lucky to have this opportunity to, to rewind and to give ourselves a new start of life. And I have a chat with my friends. We had coffee yesterday and uh, checking out what other people are doing, my friends are doing. So it seems uh, it's time just to just to to spoil yourself and do something that does not have a meaning, not really meaningful, which is very meaningful. Doing something that has not a meaning is actually more meaningful than it is just. And also you can see now I am fattened up. Uh, because of traveling, getting dried, dehydration, so I was very, very, um, very, very dry and just not uh, looking good. And now it's coming back to my usual self. My usual self has uh, air bag, eye bag, and anytime I had an eye bag, but uh, it's uh, pumping up now. I feel. And at that time it was so, oh, so dry now. It's a bit better. I like the feeling of empty stomach. I like the feeling of, of, uh, of skinny, that you do not have any extra fat in your body. It's a very wonderful feeling. It's not about uh, how the society create a body image. It's just a very, very wonderful feeling. You can hold yourself, you can hold yourself, you can crank, crank yourself into a teeny tiny little ball. It's a very fun and interesting feeling. So I am using the lightest makeup. And this one is not black, it's brown, and not so dark brown. So I want to make something just very simple, very, very not significant. If you are taking watching this video for educational use, want to learn something, which you already made a wrong decision. None of my video, at least this video is not for educational use. I'm not making myself any better before and after. Not that much. I just make myself a little bit more comfortable. More fun to play with your 
Please. Out. There is almost no difference, right? So yesterday we went uh, to the shops and then I suddenly found, gosh, what can I buy? I do not need to buy anything. We have just too many things, too much in our life. So it's uh, we do not need them. We are we do not need them. So I, I end up quite, uh, what do I say? It's, a, it's actually, it's a, a pleasure and it's a, it's a gift and it's a privilege that you need something. And uh, losing the interest of shopping, of buying things and losing the need of, uh, of new things. It's a kind of a sad thing because uh, we have bow, we have clothes, we have everything. We do not need anything. You can always buy more expensive things, better things, but uh, you can also choose to live a simple and, uh, and uh, less life because you want to be rich. The basic of living a rich life is that you have less things. I read it from uh, WeChat and it echoes myself my, in my heart big time. I think it's important that we live a simple life. Why so? You can appreciate more of uh, what you do not have and what you are going to have. Everything will be a surprise. Everything will bring extra joy and happiness. If you already have all these things, if you already have all the clothes, you only have one more. But if you do not have them and you bought a new clothes just matching that particular shirt, particular pants, particular dress, it gives you so much more joy and satisfaction. And if you have a, a good house, you will not go out to have coffee, to go out to enjoy outdoor, because your house is already beautiful and big. So you, in, in a way, you are living a lonely life, living a poor life, because you are not going to see different things. Well, there are people already living a good life, living a big house, still they want to go out. That's a good thing. And uh, we have a small house. When you have a small house, your house is not comfortable, it's not uh, luxury, you want to go out to have something different, then you can go out to have something that upgrade a little bit. For example, you go to a fancy restaurant because at home you do not have things that fancy. And you can have a cup of good coffee because at home you do not have those uh, thousand dollar coffee machine to make it just uh, so good. So having something simple, the minimum condition, is actually the source of our happiness.
qualities of our satisfaction. And one friend would like to see how I treat my hair. I do not treat my hair. I do not do hair. Usually I do not do hair blowing because uh, I am lazy to, to begin with. And also, maybe it's not good for the hair. And yesterday, I went out. I went, to, I was in the coffee shop and then coffee shop, library or coffee shop. And then I saw another lady just in front of me. She has long hair and hair curved. I think a big wave permanent, permanent, uh, um, permanent, uh, permanent wave. And she looks just so perfect. And then I look more carefully, I found having a perfect hairstyle makes you look old. What I am trying to say, I'm not talking about that beautiful lady. She is just perfect. She is perfect in her style. But if I put myself in her hairstyle, it should not be good. Because the hair long and straight and with chili chili chisel and, uh, and coming out, it actually makes you feel free, makes people feel careless, makes people feel just uh, energetic and young, right? If I have my hair just perfectly curved like this, like that, like, uh, like just out of the hair salon or hair salon picture, it's not life. It's uh, static. It's not moving, but if I have my hair just like that, it looks so young and fresh and doo -doo. it makes me feel young actually. And just naturally put it behind, just good. And sometimes when I take picture, I do it a little bit and that's it, otherwise this makes me feel young and very soon I will be able to do a ponytail here and uh, whichever way, just have some fun with your hair. So do not make myself, so <clears throat> yesterday's uh, uh, seeing that beautiful lady makes me think Perfection is imperfect. Perfection is flawed. Perfection is not the best solution, is not the best solution for our lifestyle, for our image, for our appearance. When you make yourself just perfectly right, perfectly good, you look dead, you look static, you, do, you look no life. Only when you have these and that little teeny problems and little imperfections and little flaws and little, little, um, little problems and little troubles, it makes you more lively. Such is our life. Do not even try to make it perfect. The day you want to make it perfect, you want to put an end to it. I must write it down. The day you want to make it perfect, you are trying to put an end to it. I will write it down. It's a, it's a beautiful saying. I look like a philosopher. Okay. So, be yourself, 
and do and uh, and uh, give yourself room allow yourself to be yourself allow yourself to make this uh, to make mistake and allow uh, yourself to be imperfect and encourage the imperfection encourage it dun, dun. Okay, I am silly enough. Bye bye, friends. You have a beautiful day. This afternoon, I'm going to San Francisco. Okay, another thing, I think I will do an official video to talk about it. How about a meetup? I, <coughs> I, I have mentioned one time, and I saw some people to do some meet meetup, and it's mostly because um, just uh, it's been so long time we've been together with uh, hundreds of you or even thousands of you. And uh, I just feel that uh, there is a connection in us. And I want to see you because I'm curious and because uh, it could be fun. It could be fun that, uh, that I, I see you. You are the person I admire. You have written so many good comments and wise comments and um, you might say that it started from me. No, it's a very mutual thing and, um, and I am just the person that, uh, that making the video but the contributor, there needs to be a starting point and I am I am just having this channel, but channel, but the the true source of energy is all of us. This channel belongs to all of us. So I want to make a meetup that uh, that uh, I. I want to see you. I want to see you. And uh, it could be in Paris. And here I am not traveling to different states for now. And uh, it could be in Paris. It could be in another, um, in another Hoftbahn Hoft, main train station in another city in Europe. I, I have about one week of time that I can travel around. I am thinking a few years ago, 10 years, 20 years, around 20 years ago, that was before I had my baby, six, 16, 17 years ago, I have done a traveling in Europe that uh, you buy a Euro pass, you buy a train ticket, and you can get off whenever you want. So I, 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 I didn't check about it. If this is still possible, I would like to do this so that I can sleep in the train during the night to save some money and, uh, and uh, in the daytime go to different cities. It would be fun to do that. And um, so the city, Paris, for sure, I will be there. And the other city, I would like to hear you to talk. Name the city you want. You want. If I get um, a few people that can say, agree, in a certain city, I will definitely buy a ticket to go there. Do you, do you agree? Do you um, uh, understand it? I will be traveling in two weeks 
I will be in Paris for sure and uh, I will be in another city in, in France also and um, I would like to see if there is any chance to go to other cities other than the cities in France. Could be a Hauptbahnhof in Germany, German, because German cities are built all around the Hauptbahnhof, the main main train station, and um, so it's very convenient. And all the cities are built around that. So it could be in Italy, in Portugal, in Spain. I have never been to Spain. How about Madrid? Madrid could be in Croatia. Eurotrain passed by Belgium, German, Swiss, Switzerland. Yeah, mostly in these cities. I would like to to make it. It could be any time in the evening or during the day, but mostly we will. A lot of people will work, so weekend or sometime. So, here is your job. Suggest the city. Okay, we are videotaping. Suggest the city, suggest the time. When we get enough, tall, enough number of people participating for a particular city and a particular time, we will make it. Okay. Bye bye friends. I love you. I really do. do, 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 do.